One of the questions we're getting in the K211 survey we keep reminding you about is how districts are dealing with this heat. Today, Sherman Chow found out an app will come in handy to help protect athletes. So the question of whether athletes in high school, any kind, not just football, maybe it's baseball, maybe it's track, can practice outdoors these days, all depends on the, this little guy. It is called a wet bulb thermometer and the magic number, it must be below 91.2. We shot this earlier in the day at 11.30 a.m. and the heat was already brutal. There is ice, water, breaks, all the traditional cool down aids. But this year, something new, the wet bulb, which reads. Humidity, the ambient temperature, wind speed, um, and then I, I think the, the, the radiation angle and things like that. But puts it in some fancy formula and, and gives us a, a temperature reading that, that determines you know, what we can and can't do. Different readings allow for different tiers of practices with different durations, required breaks, and the amount of gear worn. Coaches also use a weather app purchased by school districts for monitoring weather. It includes the wet bulb readings and what practice tier is allowed. Let's go, running backs, let's go. As coaches, what we constantly have uh, kind of govern us, if you will, because um, we don't have our laptops or meteorologists, you know, standing next to us. So it's an app that we hey, use. Paul, you need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Afternoon practices are hard to predict. Some days they're canceled or executed just halfway. I personally think the wet bulb is supposed to be more accurate, but it seems definitely more strict than the, the heat index for sure. Wet bulb reading applies not just to football players, but all high school athletes. My kids happened to run track when they were in high school, and on hot days they would pour water onto the surface of the track so that sprinters hands could tolerate the heat. It is a little toasty uh, when they get into those starting blocks. All kinds of new and old ways to try and keep kids safe.